Welcome to episode 5 of Battlefield 1 Captured, the series where you tell me what you want to know about Battlefield 1 and you get the chance to win some cool prizes as well. This week is all about medals and getting that extra XP in game so you can keep on ranking up. And of course you guys can still get your hands on one of these Xbox One S Battlefield 1 bundles as well. There are still two up for grabs across the next five weeks or so, so make sure you stay tuned and you could be in with a chance of winning. So, medals. They work a little bit differently to how they did in past Battlefield titles. DICE wanted to create a new system where you always feel like you're being rewarded for your efforts. So some of the biggest changes are how the medals are tracked within the game. But first of all, let's get a brief overview. Each medal has specific unlock criteria that are focused around different acts within the game. So whether you're a big fan of playing the medic or you prefer flying around in the skies, then there's going to be lots of medals for you to work towards. Now each week, you'll have five different medals that you can choose from and all of them will focus on different aspects of the game. These medals will then be directly tracked in-game on the left-hand side above the minimap, so you can always keep an eye on the stage that you're going for. Each medal will have either three or five stages for you to complete, and these will need to be completed in order before you can unlock the next stage. This is the first part of how the medals in Battlefield 1 have changed. They make you play a certain way to achieve a certain stage, making you feel like your efforts really made a difference. The next big change is that you can only select one medal at a time to be tracked. Now in previous games, multiple medals could be worked towards in one go. Not so in Battlefield 1. To select a medal, currently you need to be either in the loading screen for the server you're joining or the options menu in multiplayer. From there, click the medals tab and you'll be presented with your five medal options. Click on one to activate it, back out of the menus and you're done. Start gaming. These medals though, apart from perhaps getting you to play in new and interesting ways, will help you rank up faster. Each stage of the medal you're working towards grants you XP once you achieve it. And once you achieve the medal overall, there's more XP for you there as well. Along the way, the medal might take you over a threshold of kills with a specific weapon. Say getting the service star for the MP18, that's 100 kills, and you get even more XP for that. The medals are tied into specific classes as well. Perhaps the objective is to revive 20 teammates, that will push you further up the rank for the medic class, getting you closer to those level 10 class weapons, if you haven't already unlocked them. In total, at the moment, there are 34 medals of varying style and difficulty, and each of them can be completed 100 times over, so there's plenty of replayability there for you to enjoy. And of course, the door is always open as well for DICE to add more and more medals into the mix with different patches and DLC drops over time. I myself find the medals for infantry a little bit too easy to complete and some properly hard ones would be greatly appreciated. For example, how about this one for the assault class? This is what I came up with. First stage, 250 kills with SMGs. Second stage, 25 vehicle destroys. Third stage, 50 headshots with SMGs. Fourth stage, 250 kills with shotguns. And the fifth stage, 25 headshots with shotguns. That's a complete round off of the assault class all condensed down into one medal. That'd be like the assault expert. And I bet there are plenty of people out there who'd love to grind all the way to the end and achieve that. I'd love to see some harder medals come into play into Battlefield 1, just for those more experienced players out there to have some of that replayability as well. But that brings an end to our fifth episode of Battlefield 1 Captured. Now make sure you head over to the Battlefield 1 Captured website. The link is on the screen now, or you can click it in the description. And go and vote so you can tell me what you want to know about Battlefield 1 next week. Also, you can enter our giveaway for those awesome Xbox One S Battlefield 1 bundles as well. Answer the question on the Battlefield 1 Captured site correctly, and you could be in with a chance of winning one. You need to click the video at the top of the page on the Battlefield 1 Captured website to answer the question. There's still two bundles up for grabs, and we've got five episodes to go, 
so make sure you stay tuned each Friday for the next one. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.